hi friends welcome to my channel and this is the second video of windows server 2012 tutorial from start and in this video i am going to install active directory on windows server 2012 machine so let's have some idea about my daemon environment in last video i have installed my first windows server 2012 machine on workstation um, you can verify uh, the name of virtual machine is win 2 k 12 dc01 you can verify this machine so and the second machine is my one of my client windows 7 cl01 i have installed this machine on the same workstation you can verify the client machine first windows 7 professional 32 64 bit 1 gb ram and this is the my active directory windows server server Windows Server 2012 server on which I am going to install Active Directory, the edition of Win Microsoft Windows Server 2012 R2 Data Center edition, the RAM, and so let's do the installation step by step. So, what I have done yet, I have done two things. I have renamed this computer as Win2K12 DC01, and I have configured IP address on this machine can verify my IP address on this machine 192.168.1.254 and the DNS address so we are good to go to install the Active Directory I'm going to click on manage add role and features and next role base or feature base installations click next and my server name my IP address my operating system editions everything look good click next and here I am going to select Active Directory Domain Services and yes I want to include my features for my server add features click next from the feature page we do not have to select anything just click on next and click one more next and click to install so the installation for Active Directory Domain Services and few features are started you can verify starting the installation so this installation will take you to the all features which is required for managing active directory infrastructure is going to install so you can verify installation is started on our target server which is Win2K12 DC01 it will take one or two minutes depending on the speed of machine to install this feature and role roles and features so it started So the installation is completed and configuration required so I am going to promote this server as a domain controller so click on that right here we got the three option this is the first server we are going to build as active directory domain control so I am going to click on add a new forest so going to type my domain name vector info soul dot local click next and my forest functional level and domain functional level I am going to leave it default and going to set active directory restore mode password click next add the DNS leave it default click next and it's verifying net by host name click next add the path page I'm going to leave the all path is default if you want you can change uh, from here otherwise going to click on next review option here is the all option we have selected yet if you want to see the script here is the script which you can see and if you want to save it go to save 
save as desktop I'm going to type is AD installations and save as text close it and next and it's now it's checking the pre-requests for or like holding active directory domain services on this computer so verifying pre-request as a domain controller option so all goods all pre-requests check pass successfully we are good to go to click on install I'm going to click on install so the starting the installation of Active Directory domain services on this machine it will take one or two minutes to get the installation done after this the server reboot automatically and when the server come back after restart you can verify Active Directory domain services and DNS both are installed in this server so just waiting for the installation gets the installation complete for this So the server is about to restart. So you can see the server is rebooting now. And in the meantime, I'm going to configure my client machine to join in domain. So what I am going to do, I'm going to configure the IP address for my client machine. Go to change adapter setting, double click on it. And from the properties, I'm going to click on IPv4. And here is I'm going to type my IP address for my client 192.168.101 and the default gateway and my DNS server name, which is my domain controller name. Click on advanced DNS, use this connection DNS suffix to register DNS. I'm going to type my domain name here local okay okay close it close so we are good to go to join this machine and domain once our server is rebooted so just waiting to reboot the server So we are at the login screen. I am going to hit Control Alt Del, and you can verify my domain name Victor Info Soul slash administrator. I am going to log in my Active Directory server. So all good, Active Directory and DNS server both are installed and now I'm going to click on Tools, Active Directory, Active Directory Site and Services first. Here is Site and I'm going to rename my site as India. Okay, for now you can verify under the India servers. I have only one domain controller, which is my Win2K16 DC01. So, going to close it, and now I'm going to open Active Direct Users and Computers. Here you can see my all default things which needs to become under the Active Directory, and I'm going to click on New Organization Unit. Going to type India under India I'm going to click create few more OUs like users
work stations groups and the last one is servers so under the workstation I am going to create one computer object from here new and computer computer name is win 7 cl0 cl01 which is my client name and click OK here is my computer which we have created you can verify the operating system and everything is blank and now we are going to go to add my client machine in domain so change and Victor info soul enter I'm going to put my credential here so why I just want to let you know why I have created my computer object before joining this machine in domain because if I do not create my computer object before joining this machine in domain my computer object by default after joining computer in domain will come here under the default OU which is computer so once I have created my computer object under OU which I want the machine will come there only so welcome to victim info soul domain click OK yes I'm going to restart my machine and now if I go here and check you can verify once the server uh, once the client machine will reboot it you can find the details here so it will take some time in the meantime I'm going to click on users I'm going to click create one user with name it01 I'm going to and I'm going to create one group also for like you can select group IT users the global group and the security okay and this group I'm going to add member IT01 check okay okay so what we, I have created right now one user I have joined this user in group which is IT users and the machine only so we are at the login screen the machine is rebooted I am going to log in with my domain account which is IT01 which I have just created on Active Directory I'm to log in with that and you can see preparing your desktop and now if I go to here and operating system So here is one and now if you check operating system Windows 7 Professional Service Pack 1 version given and the machine is under the domain you can verify the same under the domain so we have successfully installed Active Directory and one more thing I am want to do under the DNS I'm going to expand it and I'm going to create one reverse lookup zone here next the primary zone 
for my domain only and next and I'm going to type my network IP address range which is 192.168.1 and now you can verify I'm going to open my forward lookup June and going to update this so I got the same res same DNS entry and my reserve reserve lookup zone so here it is you can verify so thank you for watching please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any question any query you can mail me on my given mail ID so thanks once again bye bye